It's me, Rue, a.k.a. Two Foot Cripple Lady. <laughs> so today we have not just one international treat, but we have two international treats. Yay! So before I get started, though, I just want to give a little disclaimer. The reason why I keep pushing my hair in front of my face is because I have a giant pimple on my forehead and it's very ugly, so I'm trying to hide it. <laughs> so, anywho, just so you would, if you wondered why my hair looks weird, that is why. Anywho, we, like I said, we have two international treats to try today and these were actually gifted to me by a friend. I'm not going to say the person's name, but they know who they are. So to them, thank you so very much. They traveled all the way to Dubai and thought of me. And they picked out two items to give to me. So thank you to them. You did not have to do that. But I really appreciate the fact that you did and that you thought of me on your trip. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Hugs and kisses. <laughs> Okay, so, first item we have is these, and these guys are the, a international treat. I guess this particular type of digestive cookie um, is, I don't know if it's new, or if it's just not popular, or what, but um, from what I surmised, it, it seems like it's fairly new and might be limited edition. Don't quote me on that, but from what I surmise, that's what it seems like. Digestive is the type of cookie. Um, this type of cookie is very popular in other countries. Pretty much the US is the like only country, I think, that does not have these type of cookies by this company called Digestive. Or actually, I guess the company is called MC, I'll caption it M-C-V-I-T-I-E-S. But Digestive is the type of cookie. So I was very curious to see how they would taste since they seem to be very, very popular, like I said, in pretty much every country but the U.S. So, I thought I would start out with trying these first because I have been dying to try these for years. I saw them in many different videos throughout social media. They're very, very popular cookie, like I said, but I have never tried them. So, I'm very, very excited to try them. Let's open them. Try to get it out, guys. Okay. Got one. As you guys can see, they are in this packaging. They're in a box. And then they are in this wrapper. Alright, so here is what the cookie looks like. It has the little um, company logo and cookie name on it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but I promise you it is there. So, anywho, it looks like there's some type of vanilla cream in the middle of these cookies. I will uh, say the texture of these ones looks a little different from the regular digestive uh, cookies just from what I see on uh, social media. Um, also, for the record, digestive cookies, the regular digestive cookies, are not sandwich cookies like this. They're just a straight, like, uh, flat cookie by itself. Like a sugar cookie, almost. So, these are definitely different than the regular digestive. So I'm very excited to try these. Alright, let's smell it. 
smells very vanilla like all right let's try it the cookie has a nice crunch to it but yet isn't too hard to chew it isn't overly sweet like an oreo is that's just the right amount of cream mm. Mm -mm -mm. and the cream you definitely can taste the vanilla in the cream not like an oreo where it just tastes like sugar and nothing else mm. Mm -mm -mm. you know i like that when i finished the entire thing Mm, mm, mm. That is Jesus Take the Wheel good. On a scale of 0 to 10, I'm giving that a 10. It is delicious! <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Okay, now, the big finale is... Da, 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 da. Oh. Did you guys hear that? Someone's ringing the doorbell. At this time of night? It's like midnight. I'll be right back. Let me go see who this is. What? Look who's here. It's Mr. Kinder himself. Yay! <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kinder. <laughs> okay. In all seriousness, isn't this cute, guys? Look at it. I, did, I didn't bring it on camera live because, number one, it wasn't mine. And, and I didn't want to uh, keep it long enough to uh, film. But, number two, this egg was as big as me. So, I took... My friend brought it over, okay? They brought it over for so that I could see it, and also so I could get a egg from inside of it, which is this guy right here. So I got the egg, and then I took a little video so that you guys could see it. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. But it literally is the size of my entire body. So. <laughs> There's no way I could have filmed it, but, or at least no way I could have filmed it in bed. But, um, obviously I did film it, but I meant I couldn't film it in bed. I couldn't bring it in bed to do a video like this. Um, but I did quickly get a video with it when they brought it, and then I gave it to bring back so that they can share the love with other people that love Tinder. <laughs> Um, I think there was a total of seven of these eggs inside that big giant egg. How it opens is, um, the top comes off and then the legs and the bottom part is basically like a bowl and then all the eggs are inside the bottom part of the body. It's, it was really cute. It was really cute the way they set it up. And I liked how they made the part with the legs, the bowl part, because it stands up real nice and you can like put the eggs in it and just leave it like sitting in, on your table like that, like maybe for Halloween or something. Or, or even Easter. It was really cute. So, bravo to Kinder. But anywho, we get to enjoy one for now. Now, you may not know this, but these are actually illegal to have here in the U.S. Yes, I know. I'm practically breaking the law by holding this in my possession. <laughs> Not really. But they are banned in our country 
because there is a toy inside of them, and I guess a bunch of parents got together and like boycotted the product and wanted it banned from the shelves. I personally don't know why. I don't see the issue because it's not like the toy is inside the chocolate. The toy is inside a capsule and the capsule is inside the chocolate and the capsule is basically the size of my hand. So it's literally impossible for a child to swallow it. But parents felt it was a choking hazard and so they banned it. And I'm really sad about that because they are really cool and I have been dying to try one and my friend knew that I was trying to dying to try one so they brought me this back. This will probably be the one and only one I ever get to enjoy. So let's make it count, right guys? <laughs> okay. So here we go. Ooh, la, la. Here we go. It was already soft because my room's like 100 degrees. So it was easy to open. So as you can see, just like all Kinder chocolate, the um, outside is chocolate, inside is white chocolate. Or outside is milk chocolate, and inside is white chocolate. So let's try it before it melts. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. That is Jesus. Take the wheel. Good. Mm-mm-mm. All right. So, we opened the Kinder Egg. Tried it. Mm. And then here's the toy. As you can see, the toy is comes in this huge capsule, like I originally said. So why parents had an issue with this, I don't know. I don't see how this can be a choking hazard. I mean, what are you going to do? I can't even fit it in my mouth. How do you choke on this? So stupid. It had to be the millennials who banned this product. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. Really, I am. Or am I? <laughs> All right, I will be right back. I'm gonna set this up and then um, show it to you. Um, so if the camera cuts, if you see, if you see a cut in the video, that is why, because I edited the time it took for me to open this, and uh, if I have to put it together, then put it together, because some of these toys you have to put together. All right, be right back. Okay, so I don't know what the purpose of this is because it is nowhere to be found on the directions. But I did get the little penguin together. Let me show you. Here's what it looks like. So adorable. Little penguin. So cute. Isn't it cute? Okay, so that was easy to put together. Let me show you how you put it together now that I know how. Okay, well, forget it because it's not coming apart now. <laughs> but so cute. Adorable. And then when you're done, you can put everything back in here. So as you can see, I put the directions and the little back ground back in here and then put the little penguin in there and then 
you can just close it up for safekeeping. Very cute little idea. So yeah guys, that is the Kinder Surprise Eggs that are illegal in the United States. But even though they're illegal, they are very delicious! <laughs> you knew I had to do it one more time. I mean, come on, it wouldn't be me if I did it. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you to my friend who purchased this and the cookies for me. They both items were delicious. Well, that is it for today. Let me know, have you ever had a Kinder Egg Surprise or a digestive cookie? Let me know all those things. And if you have, let me know how you liked it. I loved both of them. The Kinder Egg, oh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, the Kinder Egg, on a scale of zero to 10, zero being the worst, 10 being the best, I am giving it a 10 also. It really is good, guys. Not just saying that, it really, really is. But of course it is. I mean, it's Kinder. How does Kinder ever be bad? I mean, the Kinder company has the most delicious products. I used to, like, roll my eyes when people from the UK and other countries would say that about Kinder. But they were right. Kinder's pretty awesome. There is not one product where I can say I disliked. I love it all. And it's so different from our chocolate. It really is. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think. Do you like Kinder? And do you like digestive? I can't say if I like all digestive cookies because digestive has a lot of different cookies now. But I can say these ones that I had today were delicious and I definitely like them. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless.